Hello friends, welcome back once again in the video lecture series of theory of computation. Today I am going to teach you finite automata. Finite automata is also known as FSM that is finite state machine. So in this video I am going to take following three topics. First topic is your formal definition of finite automata and after that I will take the second topic that is representation of finite automata. Representation of finite automata is being done with five tuple notation and after that I will take what are the different types of finite state automata. So let's start about finite automata or finite state machine. So let's start the first topic that is definition of finite automata. Finite automata is also known as finite state machine right why it is known as finite state machine because when i will teach you about designing of finite automata then i will teach you about different states the first state is known as initial state the last state is known as final state and others are known as intermediate states but all together we should have the finite number of states it should not go infinite means we should not have infinite number of states that is why it is also known as finite state machine right next very important thing is what it is known as finite acceptor uh, what do you mean by finite acceptor finite ex acceptor means suppose this is a finite automata which is also known as, known as finite acceptor अगर इसके ऊपर हम लोग कोई अगर इनपुट स्ट्रिंग अगर भेजते हैं तो वेदर दैट स्ट्रिंग विल बी एक्सेप्टेड और नॉट इट विल बी डिसाइडेड बाय फाइनाइट ऑटोमेटा द इनपुट स्ट्रिंग विल बी एक्सेप्टेड ओनली इफ इट विल बी योर रेगुलर लैंग्वेज राइट अदरवाइज इफ द इनपुट स्ट्रिंग विल नॉट बी योर रेगुलर लैंग्वेज देन इट विल बी रिजेक्टेड दैट मीन्स ओनली रेगुलर लैंग्वेजेज can be accepted by finite acceptor and that is why it is also known as a synonym of finite state automata or finite automata after teaching you about representation of finite state automata and types of finite state automata i will extended my lecture on regular language that how regular, regular language is being designed with two things that is first through a regular expression regular expression and through grammar regular regular grammar right so there are two ways to design regular language to accept through finite automata this is designed by either by regular expression or regular language is designed through regular grammar so in the subsequent lecture i will teach you but here i was eager to tell you the formal definition of finite state automata so second let us discuss about representation of finite automata right so as i have told you finite automata is five tuple machine right what are the five tuples five tuples are represented in this way fa is equals to first capital q sigma delta function right next year q naught and capital f where capital q is set of finite states set of finite states means that is why i have told you finite automata is also known as fsm that is finite state machine that means we are having finite number of states that's why it's a, uh, it is written here q is set of finite state next alphabets sigma represent alphabet which is having some input symbols right third one is transition function right delta is treated as transition function transition function means when you are residing on any state q and when any input symbol is given to you you are reaching to either that state or some another state when i will 
tell you about state transition diagram of this finite state automata then it then this concept will be more clear in uh, in the better way right so transition function means for this time transition function means if you are have uh, if you are residing on one state agar aap agar ek state pe hain and if you have given some input symbol so either you can reach to some another state or you can reach to the same state right so that is known as your transition function next one is your q not q not is your initial state right q not is your initial state and this initial state must belongs to capital q correct because this initial state should be a part of your this finite state member it should be the part of this family last one is your capital f capital f is a set of final state now it means that means final state can be only one state or more than one state can be also possible that is why it is given here that is this is a set of final state remember one thing you must have only one initial state that means initial state will be all exactly one but you may have more than one finite state that is why it has been written here set of final state and this set of final state that is f must be a subset of capital q so this is the formal representation of finite state automata when i will teach you next about state transition diagram of finite state automata at that time i will teach you this transition function more clearly so let's talk about state transition diagram of finite automata through this diagram we will try to understand all the representation of finite state automata or finite automata see as i have uh, told you the first state is known as initial state this is the initial state initial state right that means the input string always pass through q not only right okay fine and this is the final state this is the final state final state is nothing but it is represented by double circle wherever the double circle will be shown it means it is your final state okay fine and other than initial state and final state all other states are known as your intermediate state right all other states are known as your intermediate states now through this diagram i will try to explain you about representation of finite state automata right so what will be your capital q capital q will be your set of all finite state so how many states are there there are three states that is your q not this is the initial state second one is q1 this state and final state is your q2 right okay so we are having capital q is equals to three states fine next what was the next one about your alphabets so what are the alphabets we are using we are using two types of alphabets a and b so alphabets will be a and b right okay next is your transition function i will explain you later on the fourth thing is your q not what is q not q not is your q not is the state which belongs to this q that is why we are representing it as q not belongs to q right q not belongs to q and whenever we are talking about f that is your final state final state is a set of final state right it is an, it is it must not be only one it may be more than one say for example this can be extended by suppose q3 uh, this is this can be like this and this can be like this so how many states should be there how many final states will be there in this time in this time we will be having two final states right so final states will be how much that is your q2 comma q3 in this scenario otherwise if you will remove this one if you will remove this one then only i will be having q2 but it will be concluded as a set that is why i have written here finite state is subset of q right finite state is subset of q now 
लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट ट्रांजिशन फंक्शन आई थिंक सो दिस ये चीज आपको बिल्कुल क्लियर हो गई होगी होगी नॉ जस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट ट्रांजिशन फंक्शन सो वट इज ट्रांजिशन फंक्शन मीन्स ट्रांजिशन फंक्शन मीन्स सपोज यू आर रिसाइडिंग ऑन वन स्टेट सपोज यू आर रिसाइडिंग ऑन क्यू नॉट राइट एंड बाई गिविंग बाई गिविंग इनपुट सिंबल ए क्यू नॉट पे हम लोग हैं और हम लोगों ने अगर इनपुट सिंबल ए दिया है तो वेर वी हैव रीच वी हैव रीच टू क्यू वन अगेन हम लोग क्यू वन पे हैं लेट से सपोज क्यू वन पे हैं अगर हम लोग हैं तो क्यू वन पे अगर हम लोग अगर ए दे रहे हैं तो हम लोग कहाँ जा रहे हैं क्यू वन पे हमने ए दिया तो हम लोग कहाँ जा रहे हैं क्यू नॉट पे जा रहे हैं सी क्यू वन पे हमने ए दिया तो क्यू नॉट पे गए ये एक हमारा एक ट्रांजिशन है और अगर क्यू वन पे अगर हम लोग अगर बी डाल रहे हैं क्यू वन पे अगर हम लोग बी डाल रहे हैं तो वॉट वी विल गेट वी विल गेट क्यू टू दैट मीन्स हाउ इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड इट इज इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड एज क्यू दिस इज द ट्रांजिशन फंक्शन और मैपिंग फंक्शन दिस इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज मैपिंग फंक्शन ट्रांजिशन फंक्शन और मैपिंग फंक्शन दैट मीन्स यूर डिसाइडिंग ऑन क्यू बाई गिविंग एनी इनपुट सिंबल वेदर इट इज ए और बी वट एवर द गिवेन इन अल्फाबेट्स राइट बाई गिविंग एन इनपुट सिंबल वेर यू आर गोइंग सो सर्टिनली यू गो टू सम क्यू दिस क्यू मे बी इनिशियल स्टेट दिस मे बी योर फाइनल स्टेट और दिस मे बी योर इंटरमीडिएट स्टेट सो फाइनली द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन मीन सपोज यू आर ऑन वन स्टेट एंड बाई गिविंग सम इनपुट सिंबल यू आर इधर यू आर रिमेनिंग ऑन दैट स्टेट वंस अगेन और यू आर गोइंग टू द नेक्स्ट स्टेट दैट इज द मेन फंडामेंटल दैट इज द मेन कंसेप्ट ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन फंक्शन so i think so through this diagram uh, through this transition diagram you are able to understand the formal uh, representation of the formal concept of representation of finite state automata as well as what is the state transition diagram of an uh, of a finite automata so uh, let's see what is the second example Try to understand the entire concept of representation of finite automata, right? So this is the second example I have taken, right? So how many total finite states are there? There are three states, right? That is your first is the Q naught, comma Q one, comma Q two, right? So total number of states are three states. That is Q naught, Q one, and Q two, right? How many alphabets are there? There are only two types of alphabets in entire diagram. One is A, second is B. So alphabets we are having is A comma B, right? Okay. What is the initial state? Q not means initial state. What is the initial state? Q not only. This is the this is for initial state. This is for initial state. Initial state, right? Initial state is always represented by Q naught, right? You can take any thing in the diagram, but formally we are uh, representing initial state by Q naught only. Fine. Okay. Next, what is the final state in this diagram? We are having two final states. That is Q one comma Q two. That is why this is known as a set of final state. Correct? Okay. Fine. Now just talk about. All the possibilities of transition function, right? So let's take all the possibilities of transition function. First, take this one. Okay. So transition function is represented by this data that is Q naught. Or Q naught means if we get an area, so what we will get? We will get the Q naught itself. Correct? Q naught per area to Q. Q naught per area, we will reach it. Right? Q naught पे जब B दिया तो हमको कहाँ पहुँचेंगे? Q naught Q one पे, that is Q naught पे जब हमने B दिया, so we will reach to Q one. Correct? Now this is over. Now just try to analyze this one. Transition function Q one पे अगर हमने A दिया, तो हम दो जगह पहुँच रहे हैं। कहाँ था? First I am reaching to Q two. By giving a, we are reaching to Q2, and by giving a, we are also reaching to Q1. So there will be two two states. That is Q2 and Q0. 
correct? By giving a on q1, we are reaching to q2, also we are reaching to q0, correct? Fine. Okay, similarly by giving b on q1, b ke se hum log kaha pahunch rahe q1 pe as it is rahenge, so first will be your q1 and second will be your q2. See, by giving b as an input symbol on q1, we will again remain on q1 and by giving b on q1, we will reach to q2. Correct? Next. So that this is also over. Now come to this point. That is transition on q2 while giving a and transition on q2 while giving b. So in both cases, we will reach to q2 only. Right? We will reach to q2 only. So through this diagram, this is a possible transition function. So I do think that through this diagram, you are able to understand the state transition diagram of finite automata firstly and secondly you have also tried to learn about uh, representation of finite automata in a very clear way. Thank you for watching this video. In the next video we are going to discuss about different types of finite automata.